Hey everybody, welcome back. We are finally going to do it. We're going to prioritize blue belts because why not? We're there. We have lubricant on a train. This might also include... Adjust my mic here. This might also include needing to uh, get rid of this petroleum that accumulates there and ship it over here to the plastic and sulfur plants. So we're going to take a liquid station. First, we're going to, you know, let's fly over there. First, I'm going to disarm that train stop before I do anything else. Well, the one that we're about to build, to be clear. So <laughs> that one that just got crossed over and this one. Then with that out of the way, neutralized, we will copy this train stop. One up here. And you know what? Yeah, let's place them both. Then that's going to be... Hey, we got this. Let's see what else we can do. I know we're going to need a telescope. Swarm safety. This is a nice thing to get, right? What about... Artillery range, the next one. Oh, we're going to need a couple more science packs. One we're very close to, this one we're not. Uh, another 30% on top. That's solid. It'd be time to get this. Hmm. Can't decide. Can we do here? Nothing really jumps out. Probably might want to get. I guess this could be helpful. I want to get this out of the way. Um, flammables, mining yield, but we don't have. God, that's expensive. Twenty five hundred for ten percent. I mean, it, hey, it's gonna go a long way. Uh we don't have energy science packs yet, or else, man, we could get such a boost to our logistics bots. It'd be crazy. Uh, well, nothing's really jumping out. Might start just doing this in order. Get it out of the way. I mean, that's got dependencies downstream. So does this. Uh, this obviously does. But should probably still be smart about it and think about what we're going to do next. Big mining drills. Well, we don't have prod science up there yet. Kind of... You just research speed? I mean, that's 50%. That's a pretty serious boost. Yeah, let's get that out of the way. All right. Go ahead and rename this guy. Grab that arrow, because I think we already have petroleum pickup. I really hope we have petroleum pickup. Yeah, there we go. We need petroleum drop-off. Set the condition. Uh, let's just copy that. Okay, that renamed the station correctly. No trains have this stop. So let's get hooked back up here. These two. And then... This should be on the way, right? Yeah, it looks like we got bots up coming up. Uh, probably need to make a couple of trains worth of this. And then we also... Yeah, there are two of these. This is one of them. Of course, the condition's wrong. So let's get that figured out. And... 
this one. Is this one wrong too? No, this one's good. All right. So then the question is, do we want to knock down, knock these down? I mean, I don't know if I see the point. It should eventually kind of balance itself. So I, I don't know. Is somebody going to build these or what? Okay, we got pumps coming in. Yeah, tanks. Here we go. We're just waiting for these to get here. They must have been coming from middle of nowhere. Looks like we might have some... Yeah, we got some trouble down here. How did we miss that? Yeah, I know. I know. Must have been an expansion party that was already on the way out. That's all I can figure. Wish you could just designate strike targets and then have them hit as soon as a train gets in range. You're going to be okay over here? We're, we're getting a lot of beep beeps here. Oh my goodness, we're not okay. What? Come on, guys. Alrighty. So now, let's think about this. This is out of range. Are we... Is that as far down as we're going? What was I thinking here, guys? It doesn't... It doesn't reach the walls. What was I... What? What's going on here? I don't know how I must have been misreading the the what's going on what are, oh the pipe is in the way okay Getting, I'm getting annoyed by this noise. Must have missed this one. All right. Can't reach that one, unfortunately. Can't really even hit it with splash. This is... 
This is getting goofy. Let's focus on getting these going so that they can help us rebuild our walls. Oh, okay. We just, we're getting chewed on over here. So hopefully now, bots can make it out here, sort us out. We're still taking it from over here, but we have good news. This guy go ahead and shoot from behind cover at all those guys. In fact, I didn't even realize that. I don't know why I was messing around clearing these nests out the hard way before, because we, uh, we have, oh, um, need to give him a longer wait time. There we go. Much okay. Take care of that. Take care of this. This is great. This is going to make building our walls down here a joke. Train check's getting a little bit chewed up, but it'll be okay. Maybe the next research after lab research speed might be flammables, but we're not quite there yet. Uh, I mean, that's a solid boost. This is what we got to get next is Covarex. All right, so are bots coming yet with walls, please? Can we be sorting this out now? We got train tracks on the way. What about walls, guys? We need some walls. Some walls coming down here, but we're having the uncrossable expanse issue. Uh-oh. That was a problem. Oh, no. Come on, man. No, come on. Come on, man. Come on. Darn it, man. Ah, <sighs> well. Kind of wonder if it's time to build those in a mall. But for now, we should have some breathing room down here. Probably needed to... Yeah, let's go build them. 
Let's go make it. Let's figure this out too. We're gonna have to do the stupid this. Except no, this is bad because it doesn't have power poles. Hopefully this gets us across, right? Um, we can place these, can't we? Uh, if we had the... Well, we do. Look at that. No, oh, we're out of landfill, I guess. At least on my person. It should be fine otherwise. Right. Uh, artillery trains are going to be a requirement here for sure. So. Gone are the days where we mess around with... Um... Silliness, right? The, uh, this, the, tr the failed belt based mall attempt. Although, I mean, it, it served its purpose before we had logistics, because that is a pretty deep game thing. So, we need gears. Well, that can come off about. In fact, we have it right there. So, let's, uh, go ahead and put that right there. So we got gears coming in, steel plates somewhere nearby. You know what? Maybe it's not such a bad idea any after all because you end up not wasting silly amounts of bots just running this stuff. So there's steel. We need that. We got iron plates right there. Pipes are with steel, so there's that. And then it's just circuits, which we actually have there, and gear wheels. Gear wheels we can make, right? So, all right. No request or chest after all. It'll be gear wheels. Of course, we need some place to put this. Uh, well, I left myself a nice little spot there when I had the requester chest down before, so we'll use that. Of course, we'll limit it to, I don't know, five? I don't know what the stack size is. Uh, don't put that there. Okay. There's that. This is not going to work there. Um, yeah, we don't need plates, do we? We need them for gears. And then we need multi-cylinder engines, which if I recall, we actually do have here, because... I was in a different headspace before, but hey. Um, you know what? I'm not going to mess with that. I don't know if we have that on a provider chest or not? Oh, but now because of what I did. Hmm. What 
do we say? Multi-cylinder engines? Well, I'm sure there's some in the storage, but probably not enough to make this long-term viable. Yeah, we definitely had some, didn't we? We have logistics storage. Yeah, we're going down fast. We don't really have those, but I mean, we know that they're right over here. So what stops us from just throwing a provider chest down and... There you go. Alright. We can make these things now. wonder how they stack. The fact that it has a number tells me it's more than one. It's probably five, right? Boy, this long-handed inserter cannot keep up. Oh, it's probably five. Got enough to build another one now. Let's go build it. go what was our answer here for fuel for these things maybe I should give it a depot stop and then the ammo. There it is. Wait indefinitely there. Yeah, go go visit the depot. We don't need his help yet. They're still fighting down here. I guess it's because of over here. So we'll let him go get some fuel and then we'll send him over. This time it's personal. See how we're doing over here. I already got three. These are easy to build now. Should make a blueprint of one and just throw it down when you need it. Okay. So that's sorted out. Then. Oh, look at it. We got this. So that little issue is sorted out. We got our wall back. This is great. We're actually seem to kind of be back in business a bit here. Forgot we had that coal patch there. All the guns are back online. Beautiful. So maybe we can get back to building things instead of fighting those. No. Maybe? Question mark? Oh, where even was I? I was gonna do... Oh, I don't know if I even... Oh, we were doing the petroleum stops. Never hooked them up. Never built a petroleum train. So... Just let's build that. Okay. Schedule will be depot. This is a weird stop. I forgot about that one. Depot. Petroleum drop off. And then petroleum pickup. And we'll send it to pickup first. And then let's check the conditions on this. We're saying if it's under 100k, so we're gonna get a couple stops out of both. Um, it's not even hooked up yet, though. 
can do that right here for this one. And then the question is, do we want to get rid of this pipe? I mean, that pipe is pretty... Right now, we're really not yanking on plastic too much. We are on sulfur, but only for heat shielding, apparently. Interesting. Well, I feel like we can... Let's just get rid of this. I know that they're right next to each other, and this is kind of one of my little... kind of philosophical debates that I have with myself about city blocks. Oh, and of course, let's disconnect these from each other. Is whether should let the neighboring ones touch like this, and it just doesn't really... It makes it harder to know what we're short on, because it consumes it before you get a chance to tell it not to. Okay, so this should be... We're at 84k there now. These should be stacking up pretty fast. Yep, they are. Nice. That's great. These guys are all doing their job. So somebody here will get some more, but whatever. And we didn't hook this one up yet, did we? Can't do that. Hey, we got lab research speed. That's good. Yeah, we grab this. That research is going visibly faster. Okay. So this should now be disabled. It is. It's got 181k. This guy's going to take off shortly. So he goes and gets another round and then brings it to Sulphur Town. Yeah, I like this a lot more. And this looks like it has enough to fill that train at least one more time, so we should be in okay shape here. And our lube city block is nice and empty. How much does the train have in it? Fluid contents, 43k. So this guy finally got emptied out, which is great, because now he's fully... I mean, he's completely full of lube, so... Um, you know... He's not going to build anything in the meantime. No more petroleum for us from here. But that's kind of by design, right? And this thing fills up pretty reasonably quick, in my opinion. We got all these prod mods here. Uh, that's a weird... That was a weird stop. I feel like we have a train, uh, oil train station that is, has its limits configured incorrectly. Disabled by control behavior as it should be. Hmm. What about this one? This one says he's open. That's fair, right? We have, have enough there. So that one's okay. How would he show up with no oil? Unless his schedule would have, was messed up. What about this? That looks right to me. What about... This? That looks right. That's a tricky one. What's going on here? we have any other train? Uh, what about this one? That looks right. Unless I actually, you know what? We have to recheck all those because I checked the condition. But no, that's the enable disable. If that wasn't ticked, then it wouldn't even show me that. So we should be okay. 
That's really quite a mystery. How was that guy empty on oil and rolling up there? Kind of... Kind of bugging me a little bit. Messing with my mind. Why is that happening? We did something wrong. What did we do wrong? Why? Was it... Yeah, that's really going to bug me quite a bit. How that ever happened. Something's wrong. I think? Question mark? I think something has to be wrong for that to have happened. How would that have happened? But, I mean, we're doing okay on crude. Uh, we're dropping off some petroleum now. Filling these tanks up. I wonder if that train actually has more bandwidth than... Oh, that was cool. That little loop that he just did. I wonder if that train can actually deliver this stuff faster. Right, if the pipe is 1,200 a second, figure a full train has 100k. How many seconds would it have to take to do its full run? I mean, it's not that hard to figure that out. It's a little bit under 100 seconds. It's somewhere around like 80 something. 80 something seconds. So it's got like a minute and a half tops to go to the depot, go to the pickup, and go to the drop off or whatever the order is. I think it's depot, drop off, pickup. That's pretty tight. If there's no traffic, I guess it's okay. Depends on how far they gotta go. So no, the bandwidth probably is not as good as these pipes were, but. Still way easier to manage. Alright. I think it might be time to start thinking about the... Blue Belt City Block. What is going on here? Who's still fighting? Oh, up here? Oh, that's fine. As long as those robo ports are connected and they are, we'll be okay. Okay. Blue belt city block. Now, what do we want to do here? Where do we want to do this? Could do it right here and then just pipe in the, the lube. But I was just saying how much I don't like to do that. So I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, this looks like a dead mining station. I'm gonna go ahead and say, I think it is. Don't see any minerals on here, so let's tear it down. Still got here. Let's eliminate this uh, enable disable condition so that a train comes along and gets the last of this. There's like, yeah, there you go. However much that is left in there. Actually a decent little clip, huh? Just in that one chest for each of them. I guess that was where the, the threshold was of Now, as I think about blue belts, it's going to have three outputs. Belts, underground belts, and splitters. Kind of makes me feel like you just want to do... Like, we'll just have them be on provider chests in terms of those outputs, but we're not going to... We're not going to, like, train any of this out. Uh, is this going to get it all... It better. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make it. So let's plop down another city block here to 
fix the train tracks up above. Uh-oh. What happened here? This 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 doesn't look right. Let's quickly undo that. Try to figure out. Oh, there it goes. We're empty. All right, thank you, Iron Station. But you've been decommissioned, sorry. This is, um... Uh-oh. Are you stuck? Can you leave? This out of here. Okay. So, something went wrong here. Not quite sure what it was. I just tore down some stuff that I'm hoping... Let this work. Still not working. We have signals where they don't belong. I'm about to just tear this entire thing down, honestly. I wonder if it's messed up on any of the other parts here. It doesn't look like it, but how did this even happen? This looks okay. Some bots coming up here. Uh, that was probably them right there, wasn't it? No, those are... Somebody gonna come tear this down for me, please? Reusability. Yeah, let's get that. You know, this might have been enough. Right here. Let's see if I can place this down now. That looks better. There's still that. That's wrong. That should be... Why? Why is this like this? Let's do it in little chunks so that I can do it all with my bots. There's a train stop in there? What happened here, guys? Somebody want to explain this one to me? Just tear it all down, start from scratch. Okay. That should be enough, right? Well, you got a couple little errant signals here, so let's just tear it all down. Alright, let's try it again. There we go. That looks a lot better. One little lonely power pole in the middle. And then I was thinking about the structure of this. Now, if you look at the recipes, right? You need gear wheels. Well, let's start down here. Single cylinder engines, which is just a gear wheel and an iron plate. So you get that. And then you need another iron plate to make two transport belts. And then you take those two transport belts. And if you want to turn each one into a fast transport belt, you need another five gear wheels per. And then when you want to turn that into a blue belt, you need another six gear wheels and some lube. Forget the lube that comes in on a pipe easy but i guess the point here is is that there's a lot of gear wheels necessary along the way and it's there's a big imbalance in terms of you're not going to direct insert this at least i don't think you are i guess you could you could but i guess i'm just going off if we had a full belt of iron gear wheels running alongside of this thing right you could this thing chews up 10 a second. I mean, you can't... A full blue belt, mind you, because we're about to have blue belts. <clears throat> you're you're going to chew up 10 a second just for the reds, 10 gear wheels a second, and then 12 for the blues. So you can barely... Like, if you, if you had them just one after the other, 
you had an assembler for transport belts, and then you had an assembler for fast transport belts, and then you had an assembler for express, and you had them all in a row just feeding each other, and not to mention that you need the single cylinder engines. You can only, with a full blue belt of gear wheels, assuming that you have assemblers to populate it all, you could only drive two of these and keep them saturated. So if you think about it, you're going to end up with like just kind of broad strokes here. This would be yellow, red, blue, right? And they're going to feed into each other. Forget the, again, don't worry about the lube for now. The crafting times on these are all very low, half second each. For this, you need one single cylinder engine. And, and by the way, this could actually drive two of these. So maybe we do that. So like this, something like that. And we said this one was a single cylinder engine. And so per second, you need, I don't know how many gear wheels a second that turns out to be there exactly, like whatever one divided by 0.6 is. So five thirds a second, 1.67, um, 1.67 a second for the single cylinder engines. Two, well, nothing here. We're, we're fine here. No additional gear wheels here, just plates. Then when you get here, 10 more a second here, and then 12 more a second here, we said. So 12, 10, 22, round this up to 2, 24. Multiply, well, actually, don't round it up, right? Because 23 and 2 thirds, whatever, even that. One blue belt full of gear wheels cannot drive this entire thing nonstop. This is a very hungry little set of assemblers here. And when you think about gear wheels and what it takes to make them, there are two iron plates per. So if you have our typical setup of a set of iron plates, right? Like you have an iron plate stop and let's get that going right now. Iron plate drop off. I don't like the looks of that. I guess it's fine. It still looks balanced. Even though it doesn't look balanced, it looks balanced to me. That's all that matters. So let's plop that down. And now you got... Now what do we want to research? Maybe time to just knock some of those out. I feel like the adaptive armor could be really good. Although I'm not really fighting fighters my myself too much anymore. Could grab this. It's not really rearing its ugly head too much though. What does this let you do? Not really sure what we need that for yet. Oh! It's a prereq for the railgun, that's cool. Not that again, like I'm not sure we really <laughs> thing is kinda we're more focused on our trains and stuff right now and our artillery. Uh, I'm really not sure where to proceed from here. Radiation facility, laser facility. Uh, oh, here you go. Kind of tells you. So if you want to do an astronomic science pack, energy science pack, it's a prereq for that. This one's a prereq for energy. This one's a prereq for energy and a couple of the threes this one is for astronomic hmm astronomic what does astronomic give you zone discovery oh that's cool you can use telescopes to to try to find stuff i guess instead of satellites i don't know Right, then you have to send a satellite to it. Who knows? Interesting. Oh, a new jetpack down the line. That's exciting. I think we looked at that already and it had thrust three. Yeah. Yep. 
Well, so if that's that, does energy science pack get us again? Tesla gun. Palmium advanced electronics. What is that? Wait, that's, so that's a recipe for a processing unit. What is, how does that stack up against our normal processing unit recipe, I wonder? I don't know if it, I should even bother trying to find it in here. Yeah, let's look. So we got 10 electronic, one advanced, two sulfuric acid, 20 electronic, two adv Oh, it's like a huge efficiency gain if you use Holmium cable, which I don't even know what that takes. And I'm getting kind of sidetracked here, so we're going we're gonna to get back on what does this give us oh this gives us the space railway so that's almost definitely what i want to go for next so i would say anything that leads me down to this where i get the no let's do that so let's start with have everything up to here we need electromagnetics laser and radiation facilities then a particle accelerator yeah, time to start going down that road, huh? Can I just... Yeah, I can't just double-click this, but I can queue them up. Okay. That. What am I missing for this? Why can I not queue this? Is that just my max queue length? It doesn't look like I'm limited. What's going on? Well, what else am I missing here? Not queued for research. I don't know. Whatever. We'll revisit it. So, one full belt of these turns into a half belt of gear wheels. So two belts of this turns into one belt of gear wheels. I mean, you're talking about this. A lot of this base is going to be a lot of the city block is going to be de dedicated to building gear wheels to feed this little thing right here. That's it. And we said we need for this we need something like 24 ish gear wheels a second yeah so i guess one blue belt of iron can run just the gear wheels part of this so you're going to need somewhere between one and blue two blue belts to run one of these um and then let's look at the so one assembler makes two of these well and then we're not accounting for See, the other thing here is that these are not intermediate products. So I cannot do this. That one is. But that's the smallest piece of the gear wheels by far. Um, so, if anything, if you were going to put any kind of module on there, it'd be a speed or an efficiency module. So now, it's even worse, right? If you put speed. And it's even worse because these are 1.25 crafting speed so I think what we're gonna do is uh, we're just gonna have a ton of gear wheel assemblers and those will let's move this just so that we have it to, to throw down There we go. Just because I think that is how we'll structure that. I just don't know where it's going to go yet. And let's focus on, I guess let's get a balancer going here.
is this stop enabled? This is iron plate drop off and it hasn't gotten anything yet. Interesting. Wonder why. Are we that low on iron plates? I hope not. It's kind of scary. Hmm. Probably do that casting stuff soon. Get our efficiency up. So, one gear wheel. Now we have to start to account for the crafting speed. And this is an intermediate product, so this we can be more efficient with. Oh, okay. Another train with nothing on it. How? How does this happen? Let's see what it does here. Oh, because it can... I see, because the way we have the train stops disabled, they can be skipped altogether. Hmm. Okay. I mean, it just burns a little bit of fuel. But, kind of scary. This thing is, well, looks like it just kind of ran out of, kind of ran out there. And this guy... He's got nothing. He's showing up empty-handed. Partially because we lost that iron mine there. This one here has seen better days. We're barely getting anything out of this down here now. <sighs> time to... I think it might be time to interrupt ourselves here a bit and look at making some more iron mines. I was really hoping to do a get the city block banged out, but we're starting to hurt on iron, and I... I'm going to go and start harvesting more iron. There's two other things that immediately jump out at me. One is core mining. I feel like we could start doing that. And the other is, is that we should probably start switching to metal casting. But that doesn't necessarily need to be a prerequisite for doing our blue belts. Let's look at our tags. Got iron over here. Not a lot at all. Like at all at all. Got some more over here. More. These tags are outdated. Got a little bit down here. Still have two million in this down here. Just kind of slow. Some more down here if we wanted to expand. Really don't want to reach out that far yet. We could go over here. Get some over here. Got three million there. That's solid. And it's really not that far from being completely safe if we wanted to just clear all this out, which we can totally do from up here. Honestly, I think it's time to get core mining. Because I'm getting a little nervous where if we get backed into a corner and we can't And we can't reduce. I just get nervous, right? Like if if, if we run out of resources, uh, that could get ugly. Core mining is kind of unlimited, as far as I can tell. You know what? This doesn't make any sense to me. Mining speed, 100 a second. Expected resources, 15 a second. What? Right? kind of confused there what does it take to make these things <sighs> anyway we're definitely not going to use this here why did this uh what is this freaking out about water i mean we don't use any of this anymore anyway so let's just tear it all down we actually had pyroflux down here from that forgot about that. I hope
hope I didn't just tear down something bad that I'm going to hurt over. Now that's a pulverizer. What goes in this? It's, uh... Doesn't look like we really need it, does it? Oil, but... It gets pumped into up here, so I don't think it's very important. So we'll probably take... How many core miners do we have in range here? Can I even... I guess that helps a bit. One. Two. We can unseal that one now. Maybe. Well, we gotta drive some belts around it. But two. Three. And it's diminishing returns, don't forget. And pretty power hungry, by the way. Let's get three over there. Four. Five. There might be some down here that I can't see. Six. I'm not going to count that one. It's not a range. Seven. We could reach out and grab that one. Here, no. Got that one. It's like we're in the six to seven range here that we could get onto a train. And then we could take it somewhere to be pulverized. Only thing is that's annoying is that so many. Uh, where? Which one is that? There you go. No, nope, this one. Uh, eight outputs. <laughs> ah, that's a pain. So you got one input and eight outputs, right? Kind of a pain. Guess we could use the... We could use the water to drive a steam turbine just to burn it off. Do that. So there's one output gone. Crude oil. The rest of it. I feel like that's a one by two city block, right? With a whole bunch of pulverizers on the inside. That's what it seems like. Yeah, I said we were doing blue belts, but I think it's really time to do core mining. And let's start with getting it the mining drill on a Electric mining drill, concrete, electronic circuit, steel plate. Let's get that getting made on the bus. I mean, at the mall, rather. Concrete. Big drills. Well, big drills are coming in by requester chest. Hate to say it. Excuse me. Not uh, just electric mining drills, not big drills. So those we want, eh, call it a hundred. Concrete circuits, plates. Well, circuits plates and where's the concrete right there Many 
I don't think they stack at all, but we'll see. So, got that. Core miners are on tap now. <sighs> this actually should be kind of fun to route the trains and everything for this. Let's go clear off that one right down there, that seam. Can't reopen that yet. Wow. We are starving on... Why? Why, why, why? Because we're starving on copper. Oh, man. So our copper patch is looking a little rough. I mean, we're still getting some, man. We really need this core mining just to make sure that we don't die. But it kind of simplifies our exercise here. Because what we're going to do... See, that's over there. So we can turn this up. Okay. So now the greens bypass it, and now we just need to reroute the the reds. Wonder if a cluster grenade can Okay, I can definitely unseal it. Probably not the best way to actually know it. Like, unsealed it and resealed it. So we need one grenade. I think those are right over nearby. Well. Do we have bots on the way with the repair packs for this? I don't know how that got damaged like that, but somebody ought to fix it. Did I go too far? Where? Oh. It's right next to me. Okay. I... These inventories, man, they... Okay. Why not? Oh, you have to just put the core mining drill down. Okay. That's not as bad. Anybody coming to fix this, guys? What is this? That looks like that's... Where are you going? Oh, do you just not stop there? I put passenger present... Not that I ever intend to really climb into that train, but that should keep it idling there. I'm sure there's a better way to do that. <sighs> so we got some core miner. Yeah, that stack's not at all kind of desirable here. So, maybe we do a train stop for this, like, over here. And then we can belt this one, this one, this one, and this one over to that. That'll be a good start, right? Oh, wait, I think I missed this one right there, so that's probably seven or eight. All right, let's get to it. Didn't I... Well, it would make no sense. I keep going to... Uh, I keep reflexively moving to put like pick this one up as if I'm going to place it down somewhere else and centralize it. It's like, yeah, dude, can't do that. Let's get rid of this failed experiment from the past. Not failed. 
It was an interesting one, but it was just too much of a mess given the base back then. We need to start cleaning up our inventory again. Get rid of some of this. This, this, this. Get rid of that. Why I have all this on me? Okay. Well, hopefully somebody comes and take these takes these away from me. How are we doing? going on over here? Why? Seriously? Ah, we're doing okay. Probably send the, the kill train over here to go poke this guy. taking this. I think we said we were going to go over this way with it. Do we have a clear shot? We can definitely get at least it gets a little dicey here, but looks okay. Looks like we can get through that. Can kind of just follow this bundle right up. And then maybe like like right here? Question mark? See, this is, <laughs> this is very frustrating because I, I really, all I wanted to do, oh, the power pole's in the way, okay. Hold on, let me stop cleaning. Okay, so all I wanted to do, oh, the train signal's in the way, okay, okay, okay. Okay, there we go, <laughs> that's all I wanted it to do. I was about to blame the game for my problems. Okay. And then... There's a signal in here. Probably doesn't need to be. Although, these could really benefit from... Okay. Then, we can go ahead and... I mean, this is your standard load-up station, right? Pick any one of these for that as a template. Hmm. We'll just take the take this. Go ahead and fix the name right out of the gate. Or fragment pickup. Brady.
Okay. I mean, we have no train for it yet. We can fix that easily enough. Doesn't have anywhere to go anyway, so... I guess we'll give it some fuel and then let it sit here and do nothing for a bit until... Until we get the rest of this built. Now... We actually have to get core fragments over here. So one's coming up from down here. at that. Just gotta hook it up. Now, did that affect the expected resources over here? It sure did. So, with those kind of diminishing returns, I'm not sure that we need to care too much about placing much more than four or five of these. I'm not sure what a good number would be. Probably just place the most convenient ones for now. I wonder if I need to care that these don't have power. I don't know what they do, but... I don't want to chance it. Well, I hooked them up to nothing. Pretty darn sure I don't need those. What are we doing now, guys? We are going... Work our way back, right? That... Whoa. with the pipes.
That's two. We got some core fragments building up here. Go get number three. Uh, do I have landfill on me? I do. Wonder if I can kind of cheap out on this and... Okay, let's place down a core miner. And then... Where its output is going to be, which is right... Well, let's mark it. Problem the first. I guess we can go through here. And where are we going with this? We're going. That was easier than anticipated. Oh no. Whatever. So we went from 15 to 20 ish to. 25-ish. Okay. So that should be hooked up now. And where was the other one we said? We said this one, but... I wonder what's easier to get a belt from down here in fact we <laughs> we could leverage this old bundle of belts right here we could go and join this and stop dual belt like laning that can we do this now no why what am i missing guys what is not there? I'm at a loss. It might. Oh, there it is. I think that might be easier because otherwise, what we're doing is we're kind of. No, I'm going to go do that one. Now, I know that that's only ever going to come on that one side, but I don't like to assume that this way. If for any reason this ever changed, it wouldn't break the whole thing. Because what I was going to do was just run this under, pull it around, and call it a day like that, but I don't like that. Okay. Well, let's start heading west with this guy. Uh, probably not the best place to well, leave that there. Down. And it should be a relatively straight shot right across. Just want to get our spacing right for the underground. Uh, 
Uh, I might need another core miner. Let's go grab that. Let's do some napkin math while we're flying here and say... Uh, we can... So we're getting eight. Just wildly ballparking it, not accounting for any prod mods or anything like that. We're going to get... Um, I mean, we're getting like... If we were getting 20 core fragments, then we get eight iron ore a second, right? We're obviously getting more than that. Oh, one too far. So, it's not much, but it adds up over time. No, 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 no. Darn it. this there Need to get power out to that thing now. Now we can use some of this to post a power pole. our new yield 7.5 by 4 that's 30 on the dot so I mean 12 iron ore a second can you do no you can't do prod mods although mining yield seems to help it full is our train Getting there. Oh, those things are chonky. They are large. Very, very large. Uh, all right, let's go make a, I guess, a pulverizer city block. Did we ever make pulverizers on demand pulverizers? Or is that a recycling machine? No, it's a pulverizer. It's not hard to make, is it? Hmm. Well, let's see if I can figure out where they're coming from.
14 in logistics. I feel like we made these. Didn't we make these? Thought we did. Yeah, we did. Wait. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yep. So I can get rid of this. Where do we want to build our core fragment processing? We could branch out a bit if we wanted to. Or we could just do it, increase congestion in the center. Hmm. Could do it like right here. It's not built out yet. In fact, none of these are. What is going on? Uh, this one looks... This one looks okay. Ready to go. Kind of nearby to things. Oh, wait, no. We said we needed one by two. What's wrong with me? Uh... This. This is where we're going to do our belts. That actually is kind of where I'm looking to... Kind of want to do that right now. Yeah, let's go out. Mm, I don't want to step on the copper. You do here and here. Got some annoying power pole situation to figure out, but that's easy to reroute. Yeah, maybe we do here and here. Go ahead and... I don't think we have any pipes to worry about, so we can just go ahead and plop these down. There we go. And I'm actually going to keep this centerpiece here. Just because it, it's, it stops. And then what do we want to do here? Throw one of these on the ground see core fragment processing please let me use pro yeah. all right what kind of we get 23 percent productivity out of that that's great well let's leave it there we can always copy it and we have eight things to to deal with here like i said water we're just going to try to burn off Maybe we should do the same thing with crude. I don't know. Probably not. Kind of defeats the purpose of having a core fragment processing center. So. Pyroflux is interesting to have. That's nice. How do we want to do this? What's the speed like here? Each one. Oh, that's right. Each one of these things. And the. It's going to do one core fragment a second without the prod mods with the prod mods we're looking at a little bit lower than that so a red a blue belt let's build this for blue belts you need 45 of these in a row to do one blue belt it's a lot and that's okay i think we'll have it come in down here let's go get a like an ore drop off <laughs> throw a rail down or rather get rid of one of them so that nobody can come and bring ore here. Okay. So, now... Let's go ahead and... Name this once we take care of this. This 
is going to be core fragment drop off. And we should probably go ahead and right off the hop get a 4x4 balancer going. What is the most space efficient way to throw that down here? I think it's going to be... Something like here. And then... I don't know if this is the most space efficient, but it's a start. So now you have your core fragments coming in, and now you just need lots and lots and lots of pulverizers and because this is such an annoying recipe that has you know what let's go increase the it has so many outputs this is going to be this is going to be obnoxious in my opinion so we actually ran into this when we were doing this before it was a real serious pain do we did we pick that up? We had one over here. Yeah, we picked it up. Okay. <sighs> you get... <laughs> you have so many outputs, man. So many outputs. Right? The one side that doesn't have them really makes you kind of want to pull the... the fragments in on that side and then just pile these up like so. I guess you could... What does it look like if you do... One, two, three... What does this look like? So, see, here's the pickle with this. Although, you don't have to... You only have three fluid outputs, so you have some flexibility. You can pull water out of this side. Well out of this one period you can't if you if you space them like this you can't do pyroflex or oil out of here period but you have them right here so the question is can you just slap them down right next to each other like that and have <laughs> like will this interfere i wonder i don't know interesting question it makes me nervous and it doesn't i really don't like the look of it it's going to be hard to keep track of that Maybe that's not the best way to rotate it. If you have the belt coming up here, I think the best way to rotate it is like that? Question mark? And then if we did that, and you have empty pipes up there, I, I really don't know. I really don't know what the best way to handle this is. We'll figure something out. I think we'll just do... I mean, so you got... Let's go ahead and throw another copy of this down. Now, the tricky part about this is that these flip. I don't see how you get around this. K. 
can't do that. I feel like you have to go a little bit further. Try five. Now with five. Let's just see what this wants to look like. Oh, so close. So close. Well. I mean, actually, you could just do that to... I mean, that might be... That might be your move right there. And then how do you tile them? I guess you could do it oil here well it'd have to be like this this is so gross this is what is this thing what have I made what kind of monstrosity is this that does tile And then you could, now that you have those, you can have the water pipes run like this along, catch each water output. Yeah, I think that's going to be unfortunate. Very unfortunately, I think that's what it's going to look like. Um, I think that is going to be what it looks like. And I think I'm going to call it here. I There's no way I'm finishing this tonight. This is way too complex. Uh, it's really good progress, and it's not what we set out to do. Let's go ahead and update our list. Um, core processing city. Alrighty, well... Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this, please feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. Any of those things really help the channel. They really mean a lot to me. You can also join our Discord. We'd love to have you. So next time we'll flesh out the rest of that uh, processing. And then we're probably going to go look to scale everything else up. Like iron and copper especially. Because uh, we're going to need more of it. Maybe we'll do metal casting there as well. And in fact, let's go ahead and put that in our... Um, Go ahead and do this. We're going to need to do that for iron and copper. And I think that's... I don't know if you do that for bricks. I don't... Uh, maybe you can cast bricks. I don't know. Anyway, again, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.